Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Terraria. If I can say the name correctly. Alright, last episode, we just... I don't even know. It's been a week. I think we just got some stuff done. Explored a little bit. You probably noticed I have this gold chest down from the pirate invasion. Probably seen my inventory. I got some new things. Alright, so what happened was I played this off uh, off camera to get some stuff done. And I got enough adamantine or adamantite to build a full set of armor. This is 22 defense, 16, 12. And if I go over here to armor, so you see the cobalt set that I had before was 11, 8, and seven that was the last video I did build a, the mithril set for a collection state you know so I can like build an arena towards the end where I can put all the sets of armor and whatnot I find uh, I built this uh, mithril set the mithril set does 16 12 and 9 and let me uh, put these on real quick and I'll show you what they do the set bonus is 5% critical uh, increased melee and critical strike chance so you get 5% of both, uh, actually it's just uh, melee critical strike chance. But that goes 5% uh, increased melee critical chance normally plus 10% increased melee damage. Okay, let's put this adamant tight set back on. This one does 18% increased melee and movement speed. 14% uh, increased melee damage and 7% increased melee critical strike chance. Alright. And... I got, I built a adamantite sword, which it, when I buy, uh, made it, it was normal. It didn't have any uh, special attributes. I had to spend a huge amount of money because the goblin is really cheap. This little dude right here, really cheap. And it just kept getting me like broken, sluggish, slow, you know, stuff like that over and over again. It finally gave me a legendary. It's not god, you know, godlike. Which is like the best state you can have on melee weapons. Well, I got a legendary, so it does 70 melee damage, strong knockback, fast speed, 14% damage, 11% speed, 5% critical strike chance, 10% size, so you get a little uh, further reach with it. And you get 15% uh, knockback on top of strong knockback, so that's pretty good. I was. Uh, doing a blood moon event and this fell for some reason i don't know how i think this comes from hell but for some reason i was doing a blood moon thing and this dropped i don't know what dropped it it was just laying on the ground i went back to a spider dungeon and i got the uh the poison staff all right i'll show you guys the poison staff and I built the wings as you see. I'll show those in a minute. But yeah, it shoots three orbs. I ran out of mana. Takes a bit of mana to use this. And I missed that slime completely. Sounds about right. And again, I am amazing. There we go. And of course these dudes. So that's that. You guys already seen the arena last episode. I built that off camera. Yeah, it's not bad. The poison stuff's pretty good. I need to fill this in before I try to do any boss fights. I might take on uh, Destroyer of Worlds in this episode. See if I even have a chance. I probably won't. I need to move all this stuff up top. Why? It's because I can use it in the middle of the battle. So let's put it right here. And I got some other stuff to show you guys real quick before we get started here. But it, it, these are here since they help you in battle, like have extra summons, magic power, or more ammo, or less ammo chance, or chance to use ammo. They are good for battling, that's why I put them in the arena. I might just keep them there too. Okay, so I went down in a, and farmed adamantite. So because I was, I found, I killed a, uh, what was it, a corruption 
mimic there's a special mimics per uh, biome and these things are really tough they're worth wor uh, they're worse than the uh, normal mimics and he dropped the chain guillotines they have a chance to drop multiple different items but I got the uh, the guillotines with this is kind of cool to use it's auto swing as you see I'm holding down the mouse button and you can aim it they're pretty cool I got this because a blood moon plus a rainy night happened at the same time and I had a bunch of those uh, angry storm clouds and they dropped the nimbus rod it's normal I didn't have anything on it yet and I got the banana ring now this right here I've never got before it dropped from an enemy in hard mode slash blood moon event plus rain it was raining blood moon and hard mode and it drops four of them at a time it does 68 melee damage critical strike chance is 19 percent very fast speed and strong knockback i've been playing this game for years i've heard of this before but i've never had it drop before so it's a rare drop and i was like what is that why is there a banana just laying on the ground so i can't tell you what enemy dropped it because i was just up here shooting away at a whole bunch of enemies that was coming at me and all of a sudden it was just laying on the platform i don't know what dropped it but yeah, and it's auto swing, so I'm holding down the mouse button. So if you guys get this, it's pretty cool. It's called the banana ring. And it just constantly throws out bananas. Why? It's because it has four of them. When you have four of them, you can just hold down the mouse button and it throws all four. In consecutive order, as you see. And it's kind of cool. I've never had this drop before. I don't even know how long it's been in the game. And I have literally been playing this game for many, many years. And because of that, I... Oh, there's a new item for you guys. I just got the megaphone. But, yeah. I got the banana ring. So, if you get this, you're lucky. Apparently, I was lucky. It's cool. Might use that against the boss and see if it even is good. All right, the megaphone. What do I get? Uh, immunity to silence. What is this mixed with? The fast clock, I think maybe I do believe I have a fast clock or two this guy he uh, builds up the money and I notice his max is 10 gold if you're uh, interested in that stuff uh, counter curse mantra Nazar I don't have the Nazar immunity to curse I think this comes from the hard mode dungeon that's way later on all right and I got this chest. I have stuff in there I want to show you guys. That I found while farming whatever. Our hard mode accessories. I know I'm doing a lot of talking and not actually getting anything done. Just put away this money. I don't want to hold my money. Yeah, this is it. Auto swings too. The adamantite sword. Auto swings. And I built something else. I put in here. It costed the uh, Dark Shard and the Light Shard, which comes from Mummies from the Corruption and Hallow. I got, I bought this off the Traveling Merchant. It's not useful for me now, but it's Auto Swing. If you get this early in the game, it's a really good weapon. I got this from a normal Mimic. Magic Dagger. It, hurts, it takes magic. And it's not Auto Swing. You have to click for every, for every dagger. Got a whole bunch of these Nimbus Rods. The only reason why I'm not using any of these that have that special on them because this one's 35 magic. You get less mana cost, but it has uh, 35 damage. The normal has 39. I kept it for the extra damage. And I built a Dao of Hal. This is the Dark and Light Shard. It's a flail. As long as you hold the mouse button down, you can keep it swinging. As long as you hold the mouse button down. If you let go, he'll pull it back in. This thing does 78 melee damage, which is awesome, but it's hard to use, in my opinion. I think I've taken out the help, or use this to help take down the uh, Destroyer of Worlds. And, let's put away the Dao. And I got a Blessed Apple from the Unicorns in the Hollow. As you know, I got two of them, or as you just found out, I got two of them. You just farm the uh, unicorns in the hollow, surface hollow, and they'll have a chance of dropping a blessed apple, and the blessed apple does, boop, 
you get a unicorn. And he can pick up some serious speed. This old unicorn does. Look at this. Bam. It's fast. And he has double jump. Pretty cool. You can get around pretty quick on this horse. There's one of those uh, mummies that drop the shards. Those will drop the light shards since this is hollow. But yeah, the unicorn's really fast. As you can see, it just goes and goes. Alright. It's the R key to activate that. Your, your mounts. This is pretty cool, yo-yo. My last yo-yo was... I can't remember the damage of it, but I still have it. I know I'm just wasting a lot of time doing all this stuff. Not really doing anything. Just explaining everything I've done. Now, where's that summons chest? I had a summons chest. Gotta remember where I put it. Or which one it is. I think it's one of the, uh, these. There we go. And I did get a mechanical skull. These, uh, these are the hard mode bosses. And, uh, sometimes enemies will have a small chance of dropping one of the mechanical bosses summoning items. Need to bring out my spider. I need to figure out what it costs to make the, uh, mechanical worm summoning item. I think it's, if you get some rotten flesh, there we go, rotten chunk. That is part of the recipe. Let's go find out. I'm not going to guarantee me winning against this boss. It takes a bit of effort to win these bosses. Yeah, mechanical worm. Costs souls of night, iron bars, and rotten chunks. Which I have all of. Because besides getting adamantite in my last uh, or off camera, I summoned a bunch of soul. Or not summoned. That makes no sense. Mats. Alright, here we go. So I got uh, 179 souls of night, which I farmed off camera. I got some souls of light, which I used some of them. Yep, I sure did. I used some of those off camera because I made this. The angel wings are the normal ones that take the normal harpy feathers. I had to build those. All right. This is this way. It's cost uh, what twenty souls of flight. Can't remember five harpy feathers or ten. As uh, souls of light, uh, souls of light and souls of flight, which it was pretty expensive on the souls of flight. All right. So this, this, and iron bars. It's night time. I uh, need to get this done. Iron, 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 oh. Got plenty of iron nuggets. But this gold chest is going to be my chest for things I found, you know, while, you know, playing off camera. So I can show you guys what I find. Which is cool, I guess. Let's put away the nuggets. Alright, so it's all this right here. Dang it, dude. The mouse is all over the place. Alright. And to make these summoning items for hard, or any of the bosses, hard mode or starting mode, because you make all these summoners, is that you have to use the demon altar. My mushroom farm's just going crazy. There's something else I did underground I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, am I missing something? There's five bars. Rotten chunk. And souls of nut. Alright. Either I'm failing or... Or they changed how to build these things. And all my uh, explanation has just become defunct. Alright, Mr. Crafting Dude. Rotten chunks. Six. Iron bars. And six. And mithril anvil. They did. They changed it. Guys, I gave you misinformation there. It used to be the demon altars to make these summoning items. 
But now you can just make them at your, uh, at the uh, anvil. That's kind of cool, actually. All right, let's show the map here. I did some stuff down here for farming. All right. Where's my first one here? It's down here at the bottom. As you see here, I built an arena to farm souls and items from the hollow. This is hollow side. And over here, I built another arena. Where did it go? This ain't it. Because it's over here in the corruption. Here it is. There's my other arena for the corruption. I stay, what I do is I have a summon, like my little spider, and he'll go down and start killing stuff down here on the floor, because when I'm standing up, up, up in this box or up here, it's just outside the screen here. That means the enemies constantly spawn down here. So you just stand up there, or you can just like, uh, use your grappling hook right here and just shoot down if you got a weapon for it. But yeah, I build the box at the right height, so this stays out of, the whole bottom stays out of view. So therefore everything constantly spawns. And I did get something else from a Halo Mimic, as you probably saw me use. I got the Illuminated Hook. That came from the Halo version of a Mimic. And it, it shoots out three arms. That's what that does. Yeah, I'm not ready for this boss fight. I keep talking and not getting anything done. I'm already 16 minutes in, just nothing but talking. I have to tell you guys everything I've seen and gone through. For regeneration. I doubt I'll be able to kill this guy. He's tough. He is tough. Trying to figure out what order I need to set everything up as. Alright, uh, what else do I need? Magic power. That would be nice. Energy generation. That would be nice. Swiftness potions. That would be nice. Yep, yep, yep. Thorns? Yeah, sure. And I got healing potions, but I have bigger potions. I don't know where they went. Could be in my... This thing. Nope. Dudes, I had some really I had some really good potions. There they are. Greater healing potions. These came from those mimics. They give you the bigger ones. There's 150 life per potion. And I think that's it. To be honest. So yeah, the farming those mimics, they have a lot of health and they do a lot of damage. But my arena has allowed me to take them out easily. At least I can show you guys this summon. Okay, let's see. Let's use the buff. Get two spiders out. Yeah, these uh, it, see these white light lights on this thing. Every time you do damage to a section, they'll shoot these things off. And those things can follow you everywhere, shoot lasers, and they hurt. Just don't get hit by the head of him. That does the most damage to you. You need to keep that in mind. So if you see his head coming at you, stay out of the out of the way. Where my spiders go? Oh, they must be stuck to them constantly. If you keep moving, you can try to dodge these lasers. I'm using banana ring. Because it's cool. I'm going to use these chain knives and see how well they work against them. What's well, just like the uh, the first worm boss that you face in the corruption, though Eater of Worlds. You want something that has like penetrating damage. Oh, 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 oh no. 
Penetrating damage is what you need because constantly hitting him would be awesome. I don't think I have too much penetrating stuff on me right now. If all this other stuff didn't summon or spawn, usually boss fight is supposed to have just boss fights. And that guy's gonna kill me right there. The gastropods. Thanks, spider. Spider saved me on that gastropod. See how my health's constantly staying up? As long as you're not getting hit constantly, you're getting some good regen going. Because I'm on this arena that has those heart crystals everywhere, plus the honey pits. This is probably the easiest boss out of the hard mode bosses. He's usually the first one I go for. The hardest, I think, would be the uh, eyeballs, the, uh, the twins. I do not like the twins. They are pretty hard. Oh, it was a laser through. Oh, my cloud went away. Not the cloud. I haven't even used the potion yet, guys. I think I'm doing pretty good. His health is getting lower and lower. Oh, no, no. I need to use the Dao of Pal. After you kill the hard mode boss for the first time, he don't, they don't summon themselves after that point. Just the other two that hey, you have not fought yet. Banana ring for the rescue. No, oh, don't stand inside of him. We almost have him dead. Look at that, guys. He's almost dead. We're going to be fighting our, doing our first hard mode boss. He completed, and he's complete. That was awesome. That was actually really not that bad. Usually, you have trouble the first time you fight those bosses until you get a hang of them. That was not bad. I'm happy about that. Guys, you got to see a boss fight. First try... Because uh, I haven't fought the worm yet. The only thing that has summoned itself at night is uh, Skeletron Prime. Twice. And I got an extra mechanical worm to use. We got Hallowed Bars. We got 18 of them. We got 35 souls of uh, might. That's awesome. Usually you don't get this many. I think I got lucky on that too. And I got some more greater healing potions. I got a total of 30. Well, That, that was successful, guys. That was really successful. And that was awesome. Alright, what can we do with the Hallowed Bars and Souls of Might? Can we make anything like the, uh, the, uh, the Mega Shark? Right, souls of Fright, or Might. Avenger Emblem, this takes all three types of souls, so that's not a big deal. These emblems, as you see right here, you get this from the Wall of Flesh. And you get each, uh, you get a, uh, Melee, a Warrior, Ranger, Sorcerer, and a Summoner. And you get all those together, and then you make a bigger one later on. I don't have any of these. I haven't farmed the uh, Wall of Flesh. I only killed them the one time. Light discs. These are really good. They cost light and might. You can, uh, just just like the banana rings, you can have a, a stack of four of them. Three or four of them. And they'll launch out constantly, just like the banana ring. So these are really good. If you If you think this is pretty good, these are better. So when you finally take out your first hard mode boss, like the uh, worm, you get these mites, you can get these light discs, which cost hallowed bars. It costs four. Mega shark. Yeah. It takes might 20 might. Wow. Shark pin, illegal parts. These illegal gun parts come from the gunsmith, and he only sells them at night, and it costs 50 gold, or they used to. And you have to buy the mini shark from him, too. This is, a, this is a pretty good weapon. It's well known in the Terraria. The Pickaxe Axe, which costs Fright, Might, and Sight. Twins, Destroyer, and uh, Skeletron Prime, plus 18 Hallowed Bars. Lydia the Steampunker has arrived. Nice. But this is really good. This is 110 pay, uh, Axe Power plus 200% Pickaxe Power. And it's compared to this one, 190 Pickaxe Power, so it's 10 more. And has axe power. So this is worth making. But you have to kill all three mechanical bosses to make this. And I think this allows you to mine Chlorophyte. Don't quote me on that because I can't remember. It's been a little bit. And you, go, or you can make the drill. Which has the same but it's noisy. If you don't mind the noise. 
I don't I won't do it on my videos because of course it is noisy and let's see what else I have. so hollow bars this can make a lot more stuff you can make the hollow set say so this is the melee ones 24 defense compared to the helmet here which is 22 so it's two more points this is 15 16 so one less and 11 and 12 so it's one less on there too but I can't remember the the uh, set bonus depending on what you get here I always go for the melee at first and it gets uh, like melee speed movement speed maybe attack damage plus hallowed repeater I never used the repeaters but I heard they were pretty good the Excalibur 70 melee damage normal 70 legendary status this might be worth making right here and I think it's auto swing this is pretty good too because if you like spears because they have piercing damage what happens what I mean by piercing damage is when you swing it like if I swing one of my weapons like this it'll shoot a straight line but if like you're hitting the destroyer the, the piercing damage will constantly keep hurting it as long as the spearhead is in the enemy so while you're going like this, so did it did it ding and it did it did it ding. You know what I mean? Which sounds the way I explain that is probably confusing, but it constantly does damage as long as the spearhead is out. Okay, hard motors, they'll go in here. I might go ahead and make the. Uh, the Excalibur. Because this is a material for later. That takes most of my bars. Man, it only became normal. Man. Make another worm. Should I take on another worm? He wasn't that bad, actually. And I made something else I haven't showed you guys. almost forgot. I quick stack my money in there. Let's put away this, the... Before I use the rest of them up. This is auto swing. And it casts off a tiny bit of light. This does the same damage as this right now. But if you can upgrade it then that's better. Now hard mode mats. Put these souls of might in here. We might be able to take on another boss. Okay, let's go here, let's drop off some of this stuff. You drop off the souls. I know I'm wasting a lot of time, but there's... That's what part of this game is, it's about preparation. Making sure you are ready for the next fight. Because I'm not going to make any more of those... These right now. Iron, iron, iron. All right. All right. No, yeah, I was gonna show you the next item. I bought the shotgun because in hard mode the uh, gunsmith will sell you a shotgun. So I bought the shotgun, and the shotgun is twenty-five gold. I don't know if I ever bought this, but it's not really useful. This is useful, but only when you make it into a mega shark. This is useful for the wall of flesh fight, so if you want to use it, it's pretty good. It just has low damage, but it has rapid fire. But the shotgun, you buy the shotgun. And the shotgun. Can't remember what it required, but... Oh yeah, it was two dark shards. These. Why I got so many is because of my farm down there. I put sand down there. And the sand became corrupted sand. And these spawn, uh, the mummy spawn constantly. So I got a bunch of these shards. I need to do the same thing for the hallowed one. But I had two of these and a bunch of these. And I can show you what it takes to make the shotgun. But I'll show you this shotgun. It's pretty, pretty crazy. I haven't used it yet. Like on anything. I just shot it wildly. Alright, it's called the Onyx Blaster. 30 range damage, strong knockback, 12% critical strike chance. Takes 2 Dark Shards and 10 Souls of Night. And the shotgun. I've never even built this thing before because I've never even seen it until the other day when I was playing this off camera. I was like, when did this happen? So I made it. 
I should have used it. But I wanted to save it for you guys. I guess the perfect perfect place to try to use this is down in one of my uh Man. Let's put it yeah, okay. We got a bunch of rounds for this. Well we're gonna go to one of my arenas. Well, we took out uh, for, uh, our first hard mode boss on the video, and it was one try and done. Usually, I fail a couple of times, you know, because until you get used to how it works and his patterns and whatnot. But first try, done. I'm happy about that. It's a lucky view, guys. That's what it is. All my viewers, my Meerkat family that's growing, that is why. All right, here's my arena. See how the bottom of the arena does not show. This is the shotgun. It is pretty crazy. It shoots this dark wave. Like I say, it shoots this dark wave, and then it shoots the normal shotgun shots. You can see the red dots. See the red dots flying. But it shoots this black, like portal looking thing. See, the red shots don't do very much damage, it's the portal that does all the damage. It's really loud. And it's fun. I just had to make it, guys. When I saw it as a rest because I was looking at the dark shards. Oh, another blessed apple. What? I got another blessed apple from a normal enemy. Well, you heard it here first, guys. You can get blessed apples from other things besides unicorns. Uh, I didn't even know about that. But these banana rings are fun. If you guys get these, I do recommend using them because they are fun. And I used them for that that first boss. For the Destroy of Worlds and I actually did some work. It was pretty good. But yeah, this is how I farm souls and whatnot. Instead of wandering around. And you notice I built it right underneath the spider dungeon. And that's how I got these this poison staff. Hey man. Unfair. Oh man. The shotgun guy. The shotgun. It is actually quite, a, quite fun to use. And you just get so much money and all this. Look I already got a gold coin. Alright Unicorn, it's time to fight. But it is near a mushroom biome, so I have to contend with those those right there. And they hurt a lot because they send out spores. Those. Oh, lava there, dude. Lava. But those right there hurt a lot. A lot more than you expect. Nobody beats the Unicorn, man. Ha ah, ah, ha ah, ah. ha. Hey, unicorn man. But yeah, this mount is actually okay. There's better ones, of course, but hey, it's alright. This game doesn't have a huge amount of mounts to go through. But yep, this is how I farm. The spiders will show up down there too once in a while. Since I'm near the spider dungeon. I'm watching the time. We might take out another or fail either win or fail another fight with the, the destroyer I still got my buff potions not all of them though I think I used a mana or a magic potion and a magic regen potion wasn't the best well it's good but didn't use enough magic to actually warrant the use for it all right Let's head back up top and I'll show you guys how much it costs to do the Excalibur and it's expensive. Alright, Mr. Trolley guy. This guy costs so much money. Alright, Excalibur. Seven gold for normal. Hurtful. 78 damage. Can I get godly? Godly. Yeah. Keen. Terrible. That sounds about right. Unpleasant. 
that's a good thing to have on weapons, I think, from Pleasant. That's not that great. Superior? 78 melee. This gun, or this uh, weapon's pretty good right here. So I do recommend you getting this. Auto swings and everything else. This one seems like it has a shorter range. See, this one has... It reaches that cup right there. While the Excalibur reaches this. So the uh, Adamantite sword is a little bit longer. But maybe because it has plus speed on or plus size, but this one does not. So, what you got, Steampunker? All right, she's got static hook for 50 gold. Ah, uh, the Clem Clem Clen Taminator. This thing's very expensive, but it's basically like a spray, uh, like a spray paint gun, or spray gun paint, whatever that word is. What it does is that you buy solution. Does she have solution? Yeah, she's got green solution. There's different solutions you can buy, and uh, it takes a bunch of the solution, plus this, and you can spray the ground, or underground, or something, and you can change biomes by spraying this stuff. But this costs, what, 25 silver a piece, plus 2 to a platinum. Yeah, it's very expensive. Jetpack allows flight and slow fall. Hold up to rocket faster. Should I get this? It's going to take one of my platinums. I don't know if this is worth, but is it better than my wings? Yeah, uh, we'll get it. Is it better than the wings? Alright, so... It goes about right there, to that tree. Okay. It's a little higher. Yep, the jetpack is a little higher. So we'll stick with the jetpack. It just makes a hissing noise constantly. Oh, it's night time, guys. Yo, yo, time. Nope. Oh. Let's go down here, get some honey. Whoa, oh, the lasers, man, the lasers. Ah, <laughs> this shot. It doesn't pierce damage, but it does multiple hits because of all the projectiles. fast. No, don't sell me in here, bro. Don't sell me in here. I'm more scared of the, uh, uh, one of those, those clouds I was talking about. They dropped the uh, Nimbus rod. I don't feel like I'm doing as good on this run. As long as I don't die, and that's, that's what matters. I don't even know if I'll be ready for a Skeletron, but we always try it next time. Up with those lasers, bro. The lasers. They hurt. These eyeballs hurt. Everything hurts. Life hurts, man. Life hurts. Oh, dude. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to get hit by the head of him. He does a lot of damage. That's the most dangerous part of the old worms. Cloud. Cloud. 
Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I forgot to put my clock down. Banana ring. Oh, there's a Nimbus rod. Maniac. Maniac. Maniac Nimbus rod. Oh, man. This is the problem right here. More damage you do to the body, all these start flying off, and you get a bunch of them all at once, and that's not what you want. At least you know when you see a bunch of these eyeball things flying around, you're doing enough damage to the body to warrant all those to come off. So I guess that's a good thing. Lasers. Who built this technology? Shoddy time. Give me that heart. I thought that when you fight bosses that the enemies would stop spawning like normal enemies. I thought that was a thing. This shotgun is actually quite good. So I do recommend the shotgun. Two dark shards, some souls of night, and a shotgun. And you got it made. Might make that uh, spear. It doesn't do as much damage as the other one, of course. Wow, that was two times in one video, guys. Two times in one video, worth it. Oh, what you got? Raincoat. I've already gotten the raincoat and a hat though, because I had two rainy nights in a row plus two blood moons so yeah that's how I got some of these items well guys I think that was a success an awesome success beautiful we got another man nimbus rod more souls of not uh, might blessed apple more hallowed bars I got less this time on both but we got some stuff done Yeah, I see all these ring cuts. I need to sell them. I usually only want to keep one set of everything. So I'll do that stuff on camera or off camera. Just do all the cleaning and all that. Whoopee cushion. These come from the worms. I don't know if I explained that before, but these come from the worms in the ground. The normal worms from early mode, like easy mode. The jetpack wasn't too bad. Alright, guys. I think I'm going to call it there. We were successful in just defeating two destroyers of war. Two destroyers of worlds. That's kind of hard to say in plural. All right. Well, we got some stuff done. Next episode, we'll probably take on Skeletron Prime. I already have one summon skull for him. And we'll see what else we can do next episode. All right. Well, if you'd like to join the uh, Meerkat family, hit that subscribe button and let's get this family growing. If you uh, like my commentary, find it helpful, funny, and or entertaining, hit that like, uh, that like button. And don't forget about that notification bell to keep up with my latest videos. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.